man finally said, well, I'll give you my ID, but I won't give you my son's. And I thought, well, how can I call my insurance company and say, the 16-year-old hit my car, but here's the ID of his dad. And like, so I ended up calling the police. And so it, it ends up that the family had a house fire. And they basically lost everything. So they were in a bad position, but... And if I was in a really good financial position where the amount of money to fix it wasn't a huge deal to me, I would have let them off on it. But I'm not, you know, and, and I just got this car less than a year, like I think in May, April or May. So I, you know, just about $1,500 worth of damage. So I went to a good car place. And I told them the situation, and I agreed to, you know, um, I'm entitled to a rental car. I said, well, what if I use one of your loaners, you know, one of their old loaners, just um, while it's done, just to save them money. And when I told him the amount, he couldn't believe it was that much, and he didn't know how he would pay it. He didn't want to go through insurance but then um, an hour later I get a or two I get a phone call from the collision repair place that a some company called and wanted uh, them to fax them the estimate and then they paid uh, for it over the phone somebody stepped up and, and paid it for him which in essence is they paid they got it done for me right uh, as well so I'm really grateful for that and we don't know I don't know who it is it's someone he knows that's uh, paying it maybe an employer or someone so we've got to get that I've got to bring my car in for that I know I'm rattling all folks but it's been a while since I talked to you um, we've also got to come back to London again in two days because I have appointment with the eye specialist. I ended up um, developing three cysts in this eye. So I've been on antibiotics. Ulcers? Mm -hmm. Ulcers? Oh, sorry. Thank you. I've had so much. It, you know, it's one, one of this and two of that. Yeah, three ulcers in my eye. And so... I've been on antibiotics for three weeks and steroids for two drops in my eye. So I go and see if it's, we can kind of, we can still see it, but it might be less. My doctor just wants to lessen any scarring on the cornea and that's basically what we can see now is a scar. So, um, now that I've yacked your ear off, We'll see you when we get to the first store. So before we hit shopping, we're stopping at Timmy's. It's a coffee donut place. And uh, we're going to get a uh, hot chocolate, the Christmas one. Peppermint, candy cane, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Oh, and Charlie is crying, so Char that Charlie means insists he would like something as well. On sitting on my lap in the front seat. Oh. Even though he has the back seat to himself with blankets and stuff, he cries if he, he has the him. entire back seat with like roots blankets, like lots of room. He insists on sitting like here. Name brand blankets. And I can and tell he's not that comfortable. No, he just likes seeing where we're going. And he always cries when we're in a drive through I'm running into this winners real quickly to see if I can um, see anything for Jesse. So many stores are wiped out. Basically done, Jesse, but she pretty well knows everything she got. So I'd like to get her a little bit of a surprise. I'm absolutely obsessed with this store because of the, all the different things they have. Now, I don't have anybody to buy this for, but look at this dress. Oh my goodness, is it not gorgeous? And look, it comes with a little headband. 
like unbelievable. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm supposed to be shopping for other people and I became obsessed with this pillow. All the beading and that on it. And it's like 30 bucks. And this blanket, which is 40 bucks. What the heck am I doing? Um, another lamb chop for Charlie for Christmas. Uh, my son doesn't watch my video, so it's safe to post this. Um, I got a belt and a wallet for Ian. And just a six pack of socks, something different. Um, I got a little something for Jessie, but I can't show you because she edits my videos. I see Mama Bear on it, and if they weren't huge, I probably would have bought them. It's an old family joke. We were going on vacation, and we were speaking to a customs guy going into the U.S., and yeah, I kind of sound like I'm Mama Bear, and this is Papa Bear, and these are my three baby bears. It was an awkward moment, and he just looked at us disgustingly. I didn't say Mama Bear. It was just the way I talked to him. Uh, yeah, like he said, what are you bringing in? Answer our stuff. It was, yeah. Okay, I am now in Dollar Tree. And everything in this store is $1.50. Um, it's in London. We don't have one in our town. Um, we have a Dollarama, but that is anywhere from two to five bucks kind of thing. But I'm looking for a pom-pom maker that I got here before. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have them. When I bought the original one, I didn't notice that one of the, it came in two sizes and one of them was broken. And the woman had said they out of stock for about a year and a half so I was hoping to get another one but it appears it is gone so I've pretty well been through the store I haven't got much I bought some googly eyes hair ties um, two packs of cookie boxes to give some cookies away and this, I don't need it, but for $1.50, I'm going to try it. It's purple shampoo. Okay, I'm headed back to the car. Um, Walmart leads into a big mall. And Stratford has this little wee mall. It, I don't know, like a, just a couple stores in it. it. I don't really consider a mall more like a little wee shopping center. But this one has full out uh, the bay and everything. And I had to venture in to get pantyhose because they appear to be in short supply in Canada this year. And while well, it was fun, um, made me realize um, how sheltered I have become and how limited I became without a car. I just stopped shopping everywhere. So now I have those options open to me.
for watching.